What is the reading on V1? V1 is a voltmeter connected across the ends of a battery. In our equation statement, we are told that each cell has a voltage of 1.5 volts. So how many cells do we have in our setup? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in series. So V1 will be equals to 5 multiplied by 1.5. This is equals to 7.5. 5 volts. This is only true because our cells are connected in series. If they are connected in parallel, then the reading in V1 was going to be just equals to 1.5 volts. You need to know that. Let's look at the second equation. Uh, equation 8.2 and 8.2.1. Let's calculate the total resistance of the circuit. So the total resistance, that is RT, R total, it is equals to RS plus RP. RS being the resistance in series and RP being the resistance in parallel. So let's start with RS. RS, we just simply add all the resistors in series. So RS is equal to R1 plus R2 and so on, depending on how many resistors we have. Here we have only one resistor that is in series. That resistor has a resistance of 2.67 ohms so that is our rs now we need to calculate rp the formula for that we have one divided by rp meaning us to one divided by r1 plus one divided by r2 plus and so on in our case which i don't usually see we have three parties a proportion of the current will go on this path and another proportion of the current will go on this path and another proportion of the current will go on this path. So we're supposed to have 1 divided by RP being equals to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. If we had a fourth path, then we would have 1 divided by R4. So 1 divided by RP will be equal to 1 divided by the total resistance on the first path. Let's take this as our first path. So that is going to be 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by R2. This path, that will be 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by R3. That is going to be 3 ohms. So we are going to have RP being equal to 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 3 to the power minus 1. This is just 1.3 ohms. So again, RT is RS plus RP. We say that RS is 2.67 and RP is 1.3. If you add that, you will get 3.3 ohms. That is the answer to 8.2.1. Let's look at 8.2.2. We need the reading on A1. A1 is this ammeter right here. That ammeter registers total current. This total current that goes through that ammeter. So what does that mean? That means that uh, the reading on A1, we basically need to find the total current. What is the total current equals to? The total voltage is equals to the total current multiplied by the total resistance. The total voltage, you calculated it in 8.1, it is 7.5 volts. IT, the total current, the reading on A1, which is what we are looking for, multiplied by the total resistance, which is 3.97. So now what we are going to do, we are going to divide both sides by 3.97 in order to find our I total. If you do that, you're going to get I T, your total current, being equals to 1.88 ohms. And that is the answer to 8.2.2. 8.2.3 on the other hand, we are looking for the reading on V2. So let's look at V2. Uh, on V2, we have the resistance. It is 2.67 ohms. But we know the current that is going to pass through uh, V2 is what we calculated in 8.2.2. The current right there is going to be 1.88 ohms. So in order to find the reading on V2, we're going to say V2 is equal to I multiplied by 
r we know that the current there will be 1.88 and the resistance is 2.67 ohms if you put that in your calculator you're gonna get a voltage of 5.01 volts the answer to 8.2.3 uh, 8.3 determine the magnitude of the charge that flows through a1 in six minutes so what are we looking for we're looking for the magnitude of the charge we're looking for q what do we have we have the current that goes through a1 that is 1.88 amps and then we have the time delta t is equals to six minutes but we know in physics we don't use minutes but we use seconds so let's convert that six minutes to seconds by multiplying with 60. so six multiply by six that is 36 you just put the zero on them and you have your time being equals to 360 seconds now what you need to recall is the definition of current the rate of flow of charge so the current is equals to q divided by delta t what is the current 1.88 it is equals to q divided by delta t which happens to be 360 seconds if we cross multiply we're going to get q being equals to 676.8 columns